a tfwire.com video review. And here we are a little while later. I didn't want to show you the transformation because this is actually the first time I've done it. And I'm going to tell you right now, this is a horrendous transformation. Um, if you think the panels are going to be hard to line up, you're right. It's very, very cumbersome, very annoying. And the directions are actually pretty good. The directions, I will admit, are pretty good. They show you exactly what you need to do. It takes a little bit of finagling. They don't tell you that there are these pegs on the arms that clip in somewhere. And at one point, it's got its arms in one position, and at another point, it's got them in a completely different position, so that doesn't help. But after finagling with it and fooling with it, I finally got it done, and uh, it's not that big. In fact, this is my DS Lite. This is my DS Lite next to the Death Star. My DS Lite's pretty damn big. But uh, yeah, so uh, it's got a uh, got the typical gun paintment. Now it does come with uh, three or four, no, three little Tie Fighters, which it calls Mini Cons. Yeah, it calls them Mini Cons, and those actually can be stored in the back of the Death Star in these two compartments. And right here is the battery case. Death Star itself has these little fold-out feet, which I don't know if that was ever shown in the movie. I'm pretty sure it wasn't, but uh, it allows it to stand. And then it's got the missile, which you can fire. This is just the gun. You actually have to open up the top of the figure like that and the head is actually right there. So you just push down the head, and it splurts it out. Now you'll notice, that shot a whole, maybe, maybe 10 inches, and that was after it bounced. But uh, this, this is a lot smaller than Primus. Uh, in fact, it's only uh, shy seven inches. But hey, it's the Death Star. But I would think if it was the Death Star, it'd be a little bigger. It's just me. But, okay, so I'm actually going to show you how it does transform. And it really is a shell former. And as you can see, like right here, I'm bring it in a little bit. I'm going to zoom in here. The shell is already popping off, as you can see. So you kind of have to just pop it back into place. I'm uh, just folding up the legs now, so I'm going to zoom out again here for you. And um, it is kind of the size of a, of a volleyball, actually smaller. You know what? It's the size of a dodgeball. Uh, a small dodgeball. That's how big it is. Look, Ma, I could palm the Death Star. But uh, okay, I'm going to go ahead and uh, transform it here. And I start by popping those off. I start by just literally popping the top like that. And then I just kind of go around and pop it, fold it out like that. Actually, let me zoom in here so you guys can get a better look of what I'm doing. So fold it out like that, get that out of the way, get that out of the way, yeah. that whole section, ratchet it up, pull back ratchets like that, and you just rotate this around and over, like that, then the whole bottom part pops off, it spins around, Thusly, like that, and you just rotate, hold back like that. Oops, sorry. It's pretty much just a get the stuff out of the way type of, type of deal. Oh, and the, the, the gun fell out and hit me in the nuts, but that's okay. Then we just take these bits and they fold up. 
fold down thusly. Bit, bit, down, in. These are not on very tight, the feet. My, uh, my figure's left foot keeps falling off. Push the back in until it attaches. Bits out of the way. Make sure the legs are straight. And there we go. So he pretty much as much as I hate to say it, he kind of does a fetal position. You just kind of take him like this, fold him up, and then all the all the extra junk just wraps around him. So, yeah, there's a Death Star Vader. Uh, my final thoughts on the figure: great showpiece, fantastic showpiece, just wonderful to look at. Really good in both forms. Really impressive in both forms. Transformation is terrible. The transformation is absolutely, without a doubt, atrocious. It's the most annoying transformation I've ever had. I've had to deal with in a while. But that being said, I'm not surprised it was an annoying transformation. I had a figure. I figured it was going to be. But in the same respect, I'm glad I picked up this figure. I'm rather, I rather like it. Uh, one other thing I didn't get to show you was. These little yellow or red compartments all can hold figures in them. So they all open up and you put those little figures that it came with in these compartments. I'm not going to bother with that just because I'm sure you, think you can tell it. That's what it's going to do. Um, like I said, the Minicon, the Minicon TIE Fighters um, transform by just flipping up a head. That's it. They just flip up a head and they're only like this big. I just didn't feel like I'm boxing them. But uh, like I was saying, I like the figure. I like it in both forms. The transformation is atrocious. Uh, it's taken me at least half an hour to just get everything lined up. I wouldn't say that long. Maybe 20 minutes to a half hour. I've been in. I've been at it for a while. But that was just the first time. I'm sure now that I know more things, it'll go easier. Um, if you can, I pick it up. Though I probably wait until after Christmas when it goes on sale. If you see it on sale, grab it. If not, pick it up if you really want it. If you're not really into it, you know, I wouldn't get it. But at the same point, I'm glad I got it. I think it's fun. The transformation is just the most annoying thing in the world. This is Spada saying, have fun, guys.